Why does Entrepreneur Magazine uh, and Entrepreneur.com rock? No matter what aspect uh, you are in terms of business, starting a business, have a business, trying to grow your business, whatever it might be, uh, there is no uh, better publication, printed publication, uh, than Entrepreneur Magazine and of course, they've gone online at uh, entrepreneur.com uh, to do a lot of great things. You will always get good information uh, in something from them. There's a couple of things that, that, that I, I kind of follow. One thing I'm looking for right now, they talk a lot about franchises. Um, and the franchise business model is certainly a legitimate uh, business model. Uh, it's a proven uh, business principle, and that's uh, how they strategy, and that's how they grow. They grow by franchising, by sharing with you what their business model was uh, in achieving the objectives that they uh, wanted to achieve. Uh, I wouldn't be, uh, personally, wouldn't be very good in the franchise world. Um, Just wouldn't work for me. As a matter of fact, uh, several folks uh, in my lifetime, in the last 10 years, uh, said, well, why don't you franchise what you're doing? And I said, first of all, I don't think the franchise, I mean, I know it works for me, but I don't know that it would work for anybody else. So uh, there's, there's, no, there's no reason to get excited about the uh, growth of the business uh, in the franchise world. There are uh, some behavior tests that you can take uh, to suggest if you would be a good uh, franchise owner. Uh, a friend of mine, Peggy Stuckey, is a uh, consult has been a consultant in that area uh, in her past. What was it that caught my attention particularly? Oh, um, spam savvy. Of course, uh, this whole email thing. Uh, I don't, I don't support email. It, it just doesn't work well for me. Uh, I, I do email very, very small number of folks uh, because, A, I know that's how we communicate. They open it. They respond to it. That's how we communicate. Uh, there's too much commotion in the email world, and uh, I just don't want to be a part of it personally. Uh, but I found it very interesting. Uh, as you know, I hate um, I hate bad subject lines. Bad subject lines are bad marketing. But these are some things that would uh, get some attention from spam if you use these words. Uh, real quickly. Uh, and this is from page nine, I'm sorry, page seven of the spring 2012 edition of uh, Entrepreneur Startups, uh, Keys to uh, Success. Key Steps to Success was a cover story. Always great information. And Michelle... Jorgen, J-U-E-R-G-E-N, uh, did the research and wrote this article. Here's the spam words, spam savvy. Act now, don't hesitate. Be amazed, be your own boss. Call now, click below. Compete for your business. Do it today. Get started now. Gift certificate. Great offer. Guarantee. Home employment. Limited time only. New customers only. Please read. See for yourself. Special promotion. The best rates while supplies last. That's not just spam. There is a retailer, uh, national chain, that uh, I refuse to go into their stores. Uh, twice they got me into their stores with uh, an offer with a headline with a 
something that I called action. And I got into the store and both times it didn't have what the ad said. And they tried to sell me something else, of course. I didn't like that. I gave them two chances and haven't been in their store in probably 20 years because of that. Work at home, uh, all natural, cash, 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 cures, baldness. Oh, I better watch for uh, that one. Fast Viagra delivery. Uh, depends on really who your target market is, I guess. Uh, no questions asked. Reverses aging. Score with babes. Stop snoring. This isn't spam. Great. Uh, I don't know if it was done ton in cheek or how it was done, but uh, Michelle, thank you for uh, your great uh, your great article on spam savvy and. The other thing that uh, caught my attention, uh, it's not infrequent to find uh, Entrepreneur Magazine two copies on a newsstand at the same time, as I found these two uh, just last week. But their uh, subject uh, caught their, their headline story, Fierce Opportunities. <coughs> Ditch your job, break the rules, launch and disrupt. Rule breakers, the risk taker, the do gooder, the goal setter, the law fighter, the whole concept um, certainly got my attention, but I found my way very quickly to the editorial page that I thought I marked here. Must have lost the uh, the paper clip I had. It's a, a, a great, uh, I don't know, and I want to read some of it to you. Uh, Amy Cosper, C-O-S-P-E-R, is the editor-in-chief of Entrepreneur Magazine. There's a picture of Amy and editor's notes. Uh, she calls it outside the lines. Interesting enough, she opens up with a quotation from uh, Henry David Thoreau. That caught my eye. Uh, she said, or Henry David Thoreau said, and she quoted, any fool can make a rule and every fool will mind it. And any fool can make a rule and every fool will mind it. Great quotation. Here's my actually my favorite uh, uh, Thoreau quotation. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the dream that you've imagined. Anyway, uh, Amy says, uh, and I quote on page 16 of the May 2012 edition of Entrepreneur Magazine, uh, rules uh, I've never met one I like. Maybe it's because, at least in my right hemisphere leaning brain, uh, rules represent what you can't do instead of what you can do. They tell you where you should and shouldn't go and how quickly you should and shouldn't go. They stand in front of you, unsmiling in a dark uniform dictating guidelines go this way not that way we live she goes on to say a few paragraphs on we live in an era of rule breakers who keep going fast even when the cop says slow down jack dorsey the zuck Bo Fishback, I know, I have actually met Bo, and I, I was kind of wondering, I haven't seen his name for a while, Sarah Blakely, they all broke the rules and their track records speak for themselves. Frankly, if you obey all the rules, you not only 
miss all the fun, great point. You miss all the opportunities. An equally great point. Thank you, Amy. Following the rules is fine for army captains and cops, but not for entrepreneurs. You remind me, Amy, I need to do the uh, entrepreneur's pledge uh, that I haven't done for a while. I like to do it once a month. It really captures the spirit of entrepreneurship. Uh, the pledge, buildastrongeramerica.com is where you can go and take the pledge. It's a, uh, a website of the Kauffman Foundation, the Entrepreneurship Foundation, uh, headquartered in Kansas City. Final uh, paragraph from Amy. Here at Entrepreneur Headquarters, we celebrate those who color outside the lines. You are our cover stories and our inspiration. You are the disruptors who deny conventional thinking and thrive on change. You are the stories that drive us. So go on. Keep on breaking the rules. We like it that way. Entrepreneur Magazine, uh, entrepreneur.com, uh, you will always uh, leave either uh, with good information uh, that can help you start a business or help you grow an existing business.